This conference will now be recorded. I'm Minora Marousson. I'm uh, the Africa Regional Coordinator and the Global Land Specialist for Wairu Commission. Um, yeah, I'm based in Madagascar Commission. And I, uh, a, it's a grassroots women movement that is uh, preserved, that exists in uh, approximately 50 countries around the, road, the world. Thank you, Minu. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the upcoming conference on land policy in Africa um, and to see what you think about it. Now, why, why it is, is it in your opinion that uh, this 2019 conference on land policy in Africa focuses on land corruption? I think it's a, uh, it's a, uh... A timely to have this kind of discussion within uh, the Africa continent, because when you look into uh, what is happening, not only in the land sector but in all sector in uh, in the Africa region, I'm I'm more aware of the sub uh, sub uh, Saharan Africa. The issue of corruption is really uh, an hindrance for the development uh, act act activities across all the region. And uh, there, uh, really, it needs to be an issue to be discussed. And land is one of the the main. Um, if I'm taking Madagascar as a case, since I live in Madagascar, land is one of the most uh, corrupted area after the the court, uh, the justice. So I think it's really time for to have a, a clear discussion and uh, an honest discussion about the issue of corruption in Africa. Uh, and uh, especially on the on land issues, uh, since I'm here to represent the grassroots women, it's I think when we go to to the land administration, uh, we are facing all of this uh, issue of corruption. Uh, we we have already looked into tools that exist that could uh, help overcome this, but it's not enough. It's really it really need to be discussed in some way that make an impact. So my hope is for this uh, um, uh, land conference uh, for it to have a really impact on and uh, we can tackle this issue in a in a correct manner. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Mino. Um, um, just another question. In your view, what are the most pressing issues that need to be dealt with in terms of land corruption? I think one of the, the main issues is uh, related to the large scale land based investment first that is really happening in Africa. And you have the issue of uh, eviction for uh, eviction because of because of the rights of uh, the communities that not that are not recognized in some way that is not maybe written but not the written point is not that much important but really you know this uh, differences between the power the bargaining power between the the investors and the communities and that then uh, how they are con compensate the compensation is uh, negotiated uh, uh, that is one eviction and compensation and the other one is uh, the issue of yes if uh, exclusion when you are having dialogues uh, with, uh, with 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 uh, the investor or when the, the uh, state or government is uh, is uh, now working on um, on uh, on a development uh, project, for example, uh, how they are negotiating the use of the land and how 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 now the people that are in those area are treated in a correct manner. I think those are the main issues. And uh, and you don't the issue that has uh, communities and grassroots women, you have also this uh, issue of where you can go to for your rights to be recognized and for your rights to be protected in some way in a, in a space where you have corruption, different form of corruption. I think those are the, the points that I wanted to talk to, to, to talk, talk about. Okay, well, thank you so much. Um, another question, what concrete outcomes are, are you hoping for for this conference? What kind of concrete outcomes? 
I think this this conference would be uh, a platform for dialogue and for discussion from different uh, stakeholders. Uh, and the idea, my idea is that it will 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 get off of this conference with clear recommendation on on how to tackle this issue of corruption across the continent, and also how how we have we can now have an action plan that is now really that will be really implemented in a way by the by the states. And, uh, and how then engagement between the states and the civil society organization or other stakeholders are taken uh, on board and how, how they, we can work together to tackle this issue. I think that uh, that's my main uh, object. Like uh, what, uh, what do I want to see is really uh, a concrete um, a concrete way forward to tackle the issue because it's uh, I think it's high time for us to to put our heads together and uh, and work on it. Okay, thank you. Um, you know, the, one of the themes of the conference is a sustainable pathway for Africa's transformation. Um, what does that look like in terms of land corruption? A sustainable pathway. I think clear uh, a clear monitoring system, a transparent uh, land administration that is put into place. Uh, I, yeah, I think uh, those two points is really and also uh, at the the issue of uh, of. Uh, uh it, police implementation i don't know if i'm clear in my answers but uh, those three points for me is really important in uh, having a sustainable pathway the monitoring part and the transparency part in uh, uh in all the uh, the the actions that we are doing from the implementation of the policies to uh to to the deals that are happening and uh, and everything, for example, if you are taking into account the investment part. Okay, thinking about that, you know, what what do you think? Uh, what kind of policy dialogue are you expecting to happen at this conference? I think it's it's uh, what I wanted to see is an openness when we are having uh, uh, a, a dialogues what what kind of I, I don't really get your uh, question this uh, this uh, on this but what I want to see is uh, uh, dialogues that uh, will uh, uh, head to concrete actions really that's what I wanted to see if that's what you want me to see but you to, to, to talk I really can you just uh, give me more explanation on that the, that last well, question? Like, uh, like poli the policy dialogue is a major focus of this conference, and uh, yeah. you know, like, uh, would you want to hear more about you know how women's women are affected in terms of uh, land policies and corruption? Oh, that or, kind of uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. In a specific sense of what what policies uh, do you think are need to need to be be addressed specifically about uh, you know on specific issues out of africa oh, okay okay i think yes <laughs> since i'm from a grassroots movement i will i would like really to all the dialogues to policy dialogues to focus on uh, on the issue of women and uh, and uh, the 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 struggle that they are facing in uh, ensuring that their rights are recognized within the land sector. You know, when uh, when we look into why the Africa, uh, why why recognition come into into the issue of land is uh, because of uh, HIV and AIDS, and how the the widowed were evicted from their uh, for their home when the husband died. So I think uh, for us it's really important. 
facilitate a dialogue to be to have a, a focus on uh, on uh, on women on uh, women land rights, uh, be it on rural land or uh, in uh, on urban, or uh, be it in the, in terms of what I said monitoring. I think uh, we have also a role to play in this uh, issue of uh, uh, land monitoring. Uh, so yes. That would be a main point. I think it's a cross-cutting issues that we that could be addressed within all the di policy dialogues that are happening. Uh, the other issue, uh, the, what the other part, dialogue that I wanted to see is um, uh, the implementation of the Agenda 2063 uh, in terms of land and uh, the implementation of um, the AU, AU declaration on uh, on uh, on on land uh, challenges as issues, uh, the framework and guidelines, how it really could be taken up by the African states for it also to be to be getting all the attention, attention that they are giving uh, to the CADEP, for example, and uh, looking into really this issue of corruption, how it could be addressed within as a cross-cutting issues. Yeah, I think. All That's right. what I to see. Okay, great. Thank you so much, uh, Mino, and um, really appreciate you taking the time to, to speak with me today. Okay, thank you for inviting me to talk, and 